Hello everybody, welcome back, welcome if you're new here, my name is Kirian and oh boy do I have news for you today, um, starting with changes that I just made. Uh, I was a bit bothered by the outcome of the Genesis um, comic, interactive comic, at the start of the last uh, episode. I was ma mainly bothered by the fact that, you know, I worked so hard in Mass Effect 2 to do all of the loyalty missions and to make sure that everybody would survive. And, you know, I was really intending on building a relationship with Miranda and everything and the fact that she died in my gameplay at the end and the fact that I wasn't able to... Well, I got her, you know, but then I lost Jack and I lost Thane. But I was really trying to build the crewmates uh, bundle that I I, I... I wasn't okay with continuing playing the game with this not being a possibility anymore. So I went back and I uh, made a new game and I changed this. Uh, I, instead of selecting the rescue the team immediate, the crew immediately, I said focus on the team and, you know, prepare the ship option, which made that everybody survived except for the crew, meaning that uh, Dr. Chakwas and Kelly Chambers are no longer alive. But these two bother me less because, yeah, my my let's say my um heart was more into the crewmates like the 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 ones that could fight alongside me um jack tally and miranda being the three main and then thane and all of the others samara everybody uh granted there are some people are not here i'm not sure if samara is here i know that grant is not here uh but may we, I could get some of the teams uh, back, you know, uh, compared to my trusses in the first Let's Play. But then I didn't change anything else. Oh yeah, I changed one thing uh, because now um, I wanted to pursue this thing, this thing with Miranda and everything. I didn't choose the um, stay faithful to your friends and I chose the move on option, which means that I... Uh, had the ability, uh, the option to romance uh, either Miranda or I don't remember who else. But basically, yeah, I romance. I decided to go on and romance Miranda uh, because this is the person that, who I want. Now I'm not gonna lie, uh, doing my research to make sure that I pick the right choices for the Genesis so I could start with the game that I want. I did come across one information that is that uh, basically Miranda could die by the end of this game. I don't know what are the choices, I just know that apparently you need to be in a relationship with her, but apart from this I don't know what are the choices that are gonna make it so. Uh, so hopefully she won't die, well it will depend on the story, if the story, the relationship that you know develops in this uh, let's play. It's fine by me if I want it. If I don't want it, then she's going to die. Um, but yeah, I did come across this information. Now, this is the hazard of, you know, starting a new game and which which is based on the choices. And, you know, I wanted to make sure that the base for this Mass Effect 3 was the one that I definitely wanted, the one that could offer me also as much options as possible regarding what I wanted to do in Mass Effect 2. Um, and yeah, I think this is it. So, without any further ado, we're gonna continue. We, so I replayed everything and I came back here. Oh yeah, I did a little something. I did change the difficulty because I didn't want to just go through the, you know, the, the painful, uh, fights for two hours while I already had done them. So we're back on a hard mode. Uh, I think the sound, yeah. They're all back. Okay, everything is good. So we are at the Citadel. And I did notice, you know, replaying this and uh, looking at my previous Let's Play and everything because I had to redo Shepard. 
Reports say not to depend on comms. I'll leave vid messages then, and you can do the same. Well, they said that due to concerns about signal congestion. Okay. Yes, uh, because I had to redo Shepard and everything. I did check out my previous Let's Play and. Um, what was I going to say? Yes, I did notice that the interior of the Normandy was different than uh, he did, didn't he? this one. So why would he be here unless he's seeing the council? Who's talking smack about me? You don't have to. Commander Shepard. Oh, that's her. Oh, a reporter. You don't have to. Commander Shepard. Commander Shepard. Diane Alice. What's going on here? Commander. Just who I was looking for. Diana Allard. Is it you can see in the I address? Think we can help each other. <laughs> I suppose you want an interview. Even better. I'm a military reporter with the show called Battle Space. We're carried on just about all council planets. My producers want me embedded on a human ship, and I want that ship to be the Normandy. Why would I want that? Wars can be won or lost in the editing room, and this war needs to be won. I've got Alliance security clearance and operate without a crew. You get veto power over the segments I file. Can you handle an arrangement like that? Or do I keep looking? Mm, she's got Alliance security clearance, so I know that she's, um, she's not one of these people gossiping um, journalists and... <laughs> I'm making a lot of references to the excellence. By the way, something weird happened to me last night. Uh, I did a Let's Play on Mass Effect 2, and as it happens right after, I decided on watching the movie Mortal Engines because I'd never seen it. And in this, there is the uh, New Zealand actress that plays Bobby from The Expense, and I didn't know it, and I was watching the movie, and then she popped up, and I was like, ah! Coincidence, like the biggest coincidence ever. But yeah, so uh, Mass Effect, there's this journalist in Mass Effect, you know, and she's actually pretty all right and she's doing right stuff. So let's do a try run. Tell your producers yes, for now. We'll see how it works out. Report to the ship as soon as possible. Any questions? How much gear can I bring? One foot locker. Aye, aye, Commander. She's not dressed for, she's not combat ready. <laughs> but yeah, if she's alliance cleared. War asset acquired Diana Alice. It's a war asset. Oh, there's war assets. Okay. Hello, Commander Shepard. Welcome to the Citadel. Do I know you? I am Avina, a fully interactive yeah. virtual intelligence. Avina. The Your voice has changed, hasn't it? Yes. I provide guidance at predetermined locations of interest throughout the Citadel. This is Docking Bay D-24. Note that due to recent events, official identification and weapons permits may be requested by CSEC personnel for routine Amazing. verification. What's with the heightened security? New screening fields have been added in order to speed up processing oh. with the security stations in each docking area. Citadel security screening technology oh no. uses highly advanced. Oh no, it's frustrating. Oh, it's frustrating. Oh, I was going to sneeze. Oh, that's disappointing. Please note that any attempt to circumvent Citadel security measures will result in immediate incarceration. Okay, that's all. Please speak with me again if you require further assistance. Do we have a map? Oh, yes, we have a map. Okay, so. No one the airlock. It's been okay. The passenger launch we did. Viewing deck. It's just that. By the way, during my little replay of the beginning, uh, I played in 21 by 9 and it's just magnificent on the big screen. So let's go. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Turns all look like. <laughs> Wait. 
Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please select a destination. Ah, let's go to the Huerta Memorial Hospital. Let's do it. Now arriving at Huerta Memorial Hospital. Because I reckon the council is going to send us on something else, so... So, the nurse tells me you refuse to bathe and you only want to talk to another Asari. Yes. Can I have a gun? I'm sorry. No. Maybe the official sky. Another hospital bed. Some place on secure. I could have a gun then, right? And no humans. Looks quite pleasant. Wherever you transfer me, it, it, it shouldn't have humans. The humans are our allies. You don't trust them? No, it's not that. I... How are my eyes? What, what, what color are they right now? Maybe you could tell me what happened. It's a bit noisy. The background. I think it's this, isn't it? No, it's not this. Welcome to Serta. Oh, that's new. Not too bad, actually. Profit organization dedicated to the medical needs of all sapient life. All profits from sales go to help new medical research. Credits. I have some money. I would like Thank to buy a lot of Serta. books, actually. Medical gel capacity is increased by one. Oh, that's. Thank you for uh, coming to Serta. How can we help you? Gotta keep your mind shut. You had a medical gel capacity. That uh, needs of all I don't life. say no. Huh. From sales. Go to help new medical research. Ah, let's take everything. Be Better have them than not. Dr. Michelle. Dr. Chakwas, she's alive! She didn't die in the ship! She didn't die in the ship! Could it be that Kelly is alive then? Maybe just the, 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 the non-necessary crew died? Okay, let's let's talk to Doctor Shaku. I don't care about Doctor Mitchell. Shepard, there you are. Doctor Chakwas, you're here. I'm working. Yes, I'm so happy. D lab down in Shelter Woods, coordinating closely with Admiral Hackett. I heard you escaped the early in Normandy, and that someone was critically injured. I came as fast as I could. We had a run-in with a Cerberus synthetic on Mars. Ashley took the worst of it. How's she doing? Very well, all things considered. I'm impressed with Lieutenant Commander Williams' resilience, as well as Dr. Michelle's expertise. I wish I could have been there to help on Mars. What have you been up to? Six months, Doctor. How have you been? Good. I've been fortunate. When they impounded Normandy, the Alliance didn't really know what to do with me. I was never officially part of Cerberus, and I'd gotten a proper leave of absence from my huh. previous post. So you hadn't technically done anything wrong by joining me to defeat the Collectors? Yes, though I suppose if you were judged to be a war criminal, I would have been tried as an accessory. Yeah, oh, it's been, I've been, I have, was about to say, he have been tried as a war criminal. Oh, yeah, for the, the mass relief thing. Oh, well, you know. Oh, yeah, she been on the Not some lab. I couldn't agree more. You say the word and I'm with you. Oh yes, because she didn't want to stay on the ground itself, the ground because this is the station. It's not technically the ground, but yeah, she wanted you know to be in a ship. Come with me, girl. The Normandy wouldn't be the same without you, Doctor. Get your things. Docking bay D twenty four. Yes, Commander, and thank you. Uh, don't yes. thank me so soon. Remember, Joker is still aboard. Yeah. Uh, and I'd be surprised. And all the psychos. Ah, <laughs> well. <laughs> Yes! Connect something. Dr. Karen Chakwas. 
Oh, where's my codex? Oh, where's the codex? Okay. Secondary. Known associates. Admiral Stephen. Admiral David. Ed Lieutenant Commander. Dr. Liara. Flight Lieutenant Jeff. The How should we knock to this? Come on. Admiral oh, maybe there's a oh, Dr. Yeah. Karen Chakwas is a trauma surgeon and a major in the Alliance Navy. She served on the SSV Normandy, Normandy under both Captain Anderson, Anderson, Anderson and Commander Shepard and was aboard the ship okay. when it was Who's the voice reading this? It's a good voice. Whoa, am I like getting to Alcatraz or? And I'm here. Yes, this is just me. It's beautiful. We didn't get to see to have, you know, views really like this in in the other Mass Effects, I'm really happy. What are you doing on the ground, sir? Nobody's gonna help you? The hospital is... Oh, it's one of these things, okay. So what's for four E's? Uh, examination rooms. Ashley is in three. Inpatient wing, that's where we are. Oh. Ash. Hey. It's Shepard. I should have known you'd pull through. You're stubborn. Always were. It scared me pretty bad back there on Mars. I just wanted to check in on you. See how you're doing. I don't want to start a romance by uh, mistake. You hang in there, all right? I need you up and reporting for duty ASAP. You hear me, soldier? If you need anything, Doc. Let me know. Okay. I better get back to it. I'll see you soon. Because, yeah, as much as I wanted to romance um, Tali, Miranda is a better fit because it's going to be way more interesting. Because there's this uh, ambiguity, you know, with Miranda being. I don't care. It's not because it's a Sadarian that it's more than. Uh, there's this ambiguity given the fact that. Um, That Miranda is Cerberus. Your squad applied the Metagel correctly, but infection had already set in by the time they found you. I'm sorry. I'm afraid we have to remove your leg below the knee. What? Oops. But I, I, I don't understand. It, it doesn't even hurt. Yeah, it's because it's, it's dead. We took you off the painkillers, Lieutenant. Damn. All right, so this examination room is this. Is, this hospital is a really weird layout, and it's a really small hospital. We did everything we had to do, I think, here. Uh, oh, can we talk to Dr. Michelle? Dr. Michelle, yep. Commander Shepard, I'm aid physician Dr. Clo Michelle. Oh, I remember you, yes. I assume you're here about Lieutenant Commander Williams? How's Ashley doing? 
Yeah. The edge drama was severe, but we reduced the swelling quickly. These types of injury can go either way. She hasn't regained consciousness yet, but her vitals are strong, so I'm optimistic. You can go see her if you like. She's just down the hall. This war may leave a lot of injured people homeless. Can the Citadel clinics care for them all? We're fine now, but I'm worried. Every hospital on the Citadel is preparing for the worst. I hear the docks are tightly controlled, but we just can't leave people floating out there forever. Yeah, sure. How are your medical supplies holding up? We're well stocked now, but I can't say I'm not worried about the future. We've posted guards on our reserves. War profiteering has already begun. With a center of this size, you must have a lot of direct reports. We've got 12 full-time doctors and over 50 support staff. It can be overwhelming, quite different from my days in the wards. 12 doctors not does not seem Keep up the good work, lot. doctor. You too, commander. I mean, it's one clinic, uh, but we from one clinic. It's a small human colony. We were supposed to help with eating. Well, okay. Commander Shep. One moment, please. The elevator speaks. Now arriving at Presidium Embassy. All right, let's see the layout. Five office suit. I've never known how this is pronounced. Is it pronounced sweet or s sweet? You pronounce this sweet? Okay. Embassy offices. Spectre office. Oh, could be interesting. Earth Council's office. Council of Dina. Council of Dina. I don't understand what happened to Anderson then. C-Sec. Okay, let's just check this places. Please tell the primacy that the whole protectorate wishes to assist with the Alliance project. I don't know how I'm supposed to have. We can access this place. Maybe we, maybe we're not supposed to. Perhaps you can help me. Embassy offices. But we spoke about this already. It's weird. Sisek, come on the baby. There is no anti-humanity conspiracy here, Ms. Al Jalani. The council's simply not having oh. interviews at this time. Al My viewers are going to know that Sisek and the council are denying them access. Listen, lady, you think I like playing gatekeeper between the paparazzi and the politicians? I don't have time to babysit them, and I'm not here to hold your hand. Well, I'm camping out until I'm granted an audience. Fine. I hope you brought a sleeping bag. <laughs> Commander Shepard? Commander Humanity has questions. Screw you. <laughs> Damn press. I see you're keeping the peace. Yeah, I feel like a glorified doorman. Most people would see it as a move up. Wedged in here with all the stuffed shirts? I'd rather be back down on the streets. I appreciate the higher pay grade, but I'm not a political creature. Yeah, why well, take the job then? If you didn't want to be upped, why'd you accept? <laughs> you don't say no to Councillor Udina. Well, maybe you would, but I gotta live here. Mm. I know, mm. we'll get to the oil, but Fair I enough. didn't lobby for a promotion like some other officers. And not even sure why he picked me. I never know with politicians. I hate political BS. Bear with it. Politicians are the weeds of the galaxy. <laughs> if that was a bumper sticker, I'd stick it right here on my desk. <laughs> it's killing me about Earth. You and me both. I haven't been back in years. I prefer no, diplomats to if politicians. This ain't the end of really. days. <laughs> it's pretty damn close. Politics are only needed because people need all their feelings to be cared about, cared for. Well, with diplomats, usually, well, 
you know, there's still that thing going on, but there's no agenda with diplomats usually. You know what they want, they're not faking anything and And because usually you, you know that there's nothing ultimately to settle. Diplomats are only here to be sure that there's communication. Commander, Councillor Udina said you'd be coming. If you'll follow me, the council is already in session. Councillor, the Reapers are in our space as well. Earth is no more or less important than any council homeworld. But Earth was the first council world hit. By all reports, it faces the brunt of the attack. How do you know this is the brunt? New Reaper fronts are opening up everywhere. The reports are accurate. Earth was attacked. A full-scale invasion. And it's just the beginning. We need your help. Everything you can spare. Earth may be suffering, but our worlds are falling too. The Turians have lost Tetris. We must fight this enemy together. Need I remind you that the last time we fought the Reapers, Shepard sacrificed the Council to protect human interests. Human True, interests. But in the end, we survived because we followed Shepard's lead. And what if that's not enough this time? The reports are dire. If we throw everything we have at the Reapers on Earth and lose, what then? I don't expect you to follow me without a plan. Counselors, we have that plan. A blueprint, created by the Protheans during their war with the Reapers. Prothean? What is it exactly? We're still piecing it together. It's a species, but, it but that's not important for now. <laughs> and this is capable of destroying the Reapers? So it would seem. It's immense and intricate. This is a fool's errand. The Protheans were wiped out by the Reapers. Clearly, the weapon is flawed. It was incomplete. There was a missing component, here. Something referred to only as the Catalyst. But they ran out of time Catalyst. before they could finish building Always it. Always catchy names. Do you believe in this, Shepard? After what you've seen of the Reapers? Um... Yeah, they say, I sacrificed the previous council to protect human interests. I mean, the Citadel is not all humans. God knows that it's not even majorly humans, so... Come on. I believe in trying. Do you have a better plan? Yeah. It sure as hell beats standing around and arguing about it. And while I haven't always agreed with Adina, he's right about this. We need to stand together. Now more than ever. The Reapers won't stop at Earth. They'll destroy every organic being in the galaxy if we don't find a way to stop them. The Council cannot give Earth the military support it needs. Our own planets must come first. The Salarian Union is convening a summit amongst our species. If we can secure our own borders, we may be able to aid you. Our own planets? Also engaged. You, humanity Honestly is part of this is Council? I, can offer, Commander. I will not make a promise of rescue that I cannot keep. Shepard, meet me in my office. I hope that's an offer of support. I'll be digging up what I can on this Prothean device, Shepard. I reckon maybe the other option would have given me the support, but... They're a bunch of self-concerned jackasses, Shepard. We may have a spot on the Council, but humanity will always be considered second-rate. How can they be so blind? Commander. Ah. I can't give you what you're asking for. Oh, the Turian Council. I can tell you how to get it. I'm listening. Balvin's Primarch Fedorian is the one that called the War Summit. He's your kind of man, open to extreme solutions. Palavin's Trouble is, Mark. he didn't get out of Palavin's system when the Reapers attacked. We don't know if he's alive. He's essential to the summit. If the Normandy could extract him without being detected... His eyes are weird. It's like I'd never seen... <laughs> My voice went all, uh, my voice just went all Turian, it's weird, I don't know if you can hear it, but yeah, um, 
<coughs> his eyes stand out. Uh, it's essential to the summit if the nomadic could extract him without being detected. You want me to rescue his ass in the hopes he considers helping Earth? Put bluntly, yes. I shouldn't even be telling you about it. But we need Fedorian alive, and your ship can get him. <laughs> Save the Primarch, gain an ally. One with the power to grant you what you're looking for. While the Reapers ravage Earth. Your counselor was right. We need to work together. This is the best way to get that. Hmm. <laughs> You could just. Our intel says uh, Primarch me, Fedorian uh, is on Palavin's it. largest moon. Get in and out undetected, and he'll take care of the rest. Good luck, Commander. You're gonna need it. Palavin is the Cherian's own world, isn't it? There is one other thing. The Council has agreed to reinstate your Spectre status, and there are certain resources that will be made available to you. I don't take that as a favor. Well, and this is not a favor. That went well. Come it's on. a start. I'll talk to the others in the meantime. See if we can support this summit. Move things along. Thanks. Okay. So what is this war summit really about? I reckon I've heard about it. Primark Fedorian of the Cherian hierarchy has called a war summit that rep that presents an opportunity for the Alliance to request help building the Crucible, which is the arm, um, the weapon. Unfortunately, Fedorian was caught in the Reaper attack on Palavan, rescued a Cheren Primarch from Palavan's moon. Okay. Strike with a Prothean Obelisk. A Volus diplomat needs a Prothean Obelisk. Recover it from the Shrike. I just watched... <laughs> Dudes, I just, as I told you, I just watched Mortal Engine last night, and in there there's a character that is called Shrike. What is happening? And deliver it to him at the Citadel Embassy. I didn't hear that when that happened. Oh, okay. It's the missions. There's no, like, side missions. Everything is in here. So, a Volus diplomat needs a Prothean Obelisk. Recover it from the Shrike Abyssal and deliver it to him. Prothean Obelisk. Am I, like, trafficking artifacts now? Counselor Adina, please contact the Turian Embassy. Donnell Adina to Turian Embassy. The Council. All I can think is that the more things change, the more they stay the same. I've always loathed that phrase, fatalism. Not what men and women should aspire to. If we don't figure out something, maybe later will be an epitaph on a mass grave of 11 <laughs> billion. <laughs> that, I know what I'm gonna <laughs> that do. That is a great one. What are you going to do? Humanity is as feared as we are loved. Hopefully that works in our favor now. I'll try to get financial aid from as many worlds as I can. Maybe manpower, a few armed ships. I'll institute a draft in our colonies and order all civilian ships armed. Work on the Prothean device will be around the clock. Hmm. What's your read on the counselors? Any angles I could pursue? Counselor Irissa is not like her predecessor. She is colder. If she has her hand on your throat, she will squeeze. A shield. There you might find some traction. The Practical. She might make Machiavelli turn pale, one. but that's a Delatras for you. Frankly, it's okay. good Quentia spoke with you. His home world is in the most trouble, and he's looking for a way out. That speaks opportunity. Hmm. You're a Citadel Counselor. Don't you have options when the others block you like this? With Parliament destroyed and Shastri gone, I have more power than any human in history. But today, you saw how little that is. Hmm. Rest assured, I will not be counted out long. I know I can move mountains. Do not lose sight of that, because the task before us is moving planets. Anderson would be proud, so long as you deliver. You think you can do that? You need a carrot or a stick to drive a mule, and humanity has neither right now. Our armada is tied down fighting or fleeing, and with Earth's calm buoys gone, our economy is reduced to an IOU. But leave that part to me. I will lean on our colonies for all they're worth, and I can broker enough trade to repair and resupply Hackett's fleet. 
Did you know a lot of people on Earth? Many. It's monstrous to think of them being snuffed out, of course, but the part that gets me is Arcturus. I must know... I must have known most of the Alliance Parliament on a first-name basis. I required a second VI just to track all their birthdays and anniversaries. Rose Garden hmm. stuff, but to have it all gone. Hmm. It's weird that he says, uh, many, because I mean he's the Earth representative and, you know, he leads away from Earth a lot. As much as I hated Udina in Mass Effect 1, he seems pretty odd right now. Well, I mean, he's, he's always been that, you know. I should go. I'll be here. So as much as uh, Anderson was good because we needed to bring everything now, now that we are abandoned by the others, I think Udina will be just fine. That's me. In an apparent bid for self-preservation, the entire Ralloy delegation has left the Citadel. In parting, Representative Arita... Welcome to the Spectre Information Processing Center. This terminal offers secure information access and support for authorization of cover covered operations or acquisitions. It is restricted to operatives currently on active duty with special tactics and recognizance. Recognizance. Any operation requiring payment can be executed at a terminal nearby, which supports secure and traceable financial transactions. Quarium, Pilgrim, Jane Fallen, Narnima. Ah. The Citadel received a large credit transfer from the fleet. Jane Fallen purchased tech, including high end weapon mounts and kinetic barrier emitters from several ship service centers. On Ilium, another Quarian pilgrim, I identified, was observed searching for a ship traveling close to the Perseus Vale. The pilgrim was later heard saying that his pilgrimage was recalled. Then I suggest the Quarian fleet is withdrawing its pilgrims and upgrading ships for combat somewhere near the Perseus Vale. This could be a reaction to the Reaper invasion, but no formal offer or request for assistance has come. It just suggests the Quarian may instead be preparing for conflict with Geth. Claiming the world, maybe. Oh, that's cool. Shield regen plus 10. Yep, I could use some of that. The fall of traitors. Shooting range, okay. Uh, let's -a go. The Alliance military has abandoned the Hades Gamma cluster to incoming Reaper. Commander Shepard. Oh, yes, the let me Alliance. punch you. Commander Shepard. Kalisa Bint seen in Al Jalani. Isn't it true that you were on Earth when the Reapers attacked? How do you justify running away while millions of people on Earth die? Is that the best we can expect? I've had enough of your tabloid journalism. Ha! You want some? Ugh. You're angry. I get that. <laughs> but I came here to get help for Earth, not answer your questions. Stay down. I don't like you, camera. Shepherd. Please select the One moment, please. I'm an angry shepherd in this let's play. I'm an angry shepherd. I'm gonna play Renegade, right I reckon. I'm a shepherd, you know, that's got no patience anymore. This is not the time, you know, to please people. That time is over. Oh, oh, what is this? Trees? Scary. Oh. 
Oh, the little kid from the dream. Hey, kiddo. Kiddo. Kiddo, 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 kiddo. Come here, come here, come here, come here. I can save you, 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 you. Give me your hand, 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 hand. I can save you, 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 you. Really upgraded on the cinematic storytelling of on this game. Liara, can I help you? I've been forwarding the Turian Counselor information on the Prothean device. It can't be built without Council support, but he's not budging until their Primarch is safe. Huh. I know. Are you all right? I didn't get what you'd call a good night's rest. There's more to it than that, isn't there? What's really bothering you? Oh, Ash getting hurt is not bothering me. Everyone back on Earth? Well, oh yeah, that's bothering me. Because Ash getting hurt, she's a soldier, you know, it's expected. When the Reapers hit, I could hear people screaming in the streets below me. We left a and lot the of the kid. There's no that way sucks for the kid. Them all. Beauty. But I know you're doing everything you can, and you'll get back there in time to help. I hope you're right. Don't blame yourself, Commander. Commander Shepard? I'm Specialist... Oh. Uh, I, I beg your pardon. I thought you were alone. And you just barge in like this? <laughs> I was just In leaving. my quarters? Yeah, I was getting very close. I'm Com Specialist Samantha Trainer with Alliance R&D. I was oh. part of the team retrofitting the Normandy after you turned it over to the Alliance. They retrofitted it? There weren't many of us aboard when the Reapers hit. Slow down, Specialist Trainer. You're doing fine. Thank you. I worked in a lab. I never thought I'd be serving on a ship. Yeah, she's a bit... Why don't you tell me about the retrofits? Easy. The ship's in line with Alliance regs now, and it has new, top-of-the-line, quantum entanglement communicators. Okay. In fact, Admiral Anderson had intended to use the Normandy as his mobile command center. That's no longer an option. Yes, well, that's what I'm going to be heard using. He chose to stay that's what fight. I'm going to be doing. In, in any event, I'm honored to serve under you, Commander. For as long as you need me, that is. They only sent me here to oversee the retrofits. Shepard, some of our systems require further testing, and Specialist Trainer has been extremely effective during installation. Yeah, 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 yeah she should stay. She remain. Got it, Edie. Oh, wait, since when does a virtual intelligence make requests? Yeah, this one is. Edie's an AI, fully mm. self aware. Oh, I knew it. I knew Joker was lying. Uh. Jeff requested that I pretend to be a simple VI to protect myself. I apologize for the deception. Thanks, E.D. And I apologize for all those times I talked about how... Mm, attractive your voice was. Anyway, okay. shall I give you a tour? <laughs> I think you'll be impressed by the new upgrades. Yeah, I noticed the ship was a bit different than, in, the uh, in the cinematic you'll find the galaxy the where you can set the Normandy's destination. Yep. You can also check your messages at your private terminal. Yep. 
This room the is new. The war room houses a strategic command center for mission-specific intel and war analysis. That's new. The shuttle bay contains an armory where you can modify your equipment between missions. Finally, Liara has set up a lot of hardware down in the old XO office on deck three. Whoa, okay. I think she's cleaned that room. And they As a broker, are. information Still broker, and scientist. Just flies Alliance colors now. Speaking of which, I believe Admiral Hackett would like to speak to you at the VidCom. Okay. That and cushion. Commander. A bit close. <laughs> Udina updated me on your meeting with the Council. Sounds like they're running scared. The Council has been a pain in my ass from day one. I'm done with them. Then what's your plan? I'm trying to get the Turian Primarch for a summit meeting with the Asari and Solarians. I'll bypass the Council and appeal directly to their leadership. That's good, I like it. This is where we start laying the groundwork for our counterattack. Unfortunately, we don't have a whole lot to back it up right now. Then build alliances. Gather everything and everybody you can for the cause. Yep. What about the Prothean device? Find me people who can help build it, and if you can't, I'll take ships, soldiers, supplies, whatever you can get. We need to keep hitting the Reapers across every theater of war they open. Buy us time to figure out the device. And when it's finished? Assuming it ever is, we pool all our resources. Think of it as a giant armada for delivering the device, when the Reapers are most vulnerable. The stronger you can make that armada, the better the chances of punching through. What about Earth, sir? We'll just have to hope Anderson and what's left of the Alliance forces can hold out until we've dealt with the enemy. I understand. Good. Then make it happen, Commander. I'll be expecting regular updates on your progress. Hack it out. Peace! Ah, this is good. This is really good. Let's see what this is. The people, weapons, armies, and fleets that you've accumulated are your war assets. Okay. The overall readiness of the galaxy determines how effectively these assets will perform in the final battle. Alliance, total military strength. Okay. The system's alliance represents humanity's economic, political, and military reach throughout the galaxy. Its naval forces are led by Admiral Stephen Hackett. Okay. Oh, we are gonna build that up. I want to be ready. I want to do that big time. Oh. For is the bit come. Uh, let's tour the place before getting to the vidcom. Oh no, we just came from the vidcom. Let me see how it, what it looks like. Oh, this is the dead clubs. Where am I? Oh, the vidcom is the other way. These stations are still very nice. It's quite efficient, really, being placed like this. Okay, the new VidCon. Hmm. Okay. I can't believe the council won't help. Come on, Sarah. If Thessia was lost and Earth hadn't been touched yet, you can be damn sure we'd be guarding our own borders. Is it me or are the corridors larger? Yeah. I think now. You got a door now, Joker? Hey, Commander. You know, I had my doubts about the Council. But after years of ignoring your warnings, they're finally willing to step up and tell you they just can't help. Hmm. <laughs> They've spent years denying the threat. You think they'd be prepared now? I was kind of hoping that maybe they were planning in secret and just not telling you about it because, you know, Cerberus. Well, let me know if you want me to get them on the channel and then hang up on them. You know, Fair for enough. time's sake. Just that point, because the rest are forgivable. Come 
Bir bir akrını. So we will. Commander. Okay, nothing else. I love this ship. I would love to have a ship like that. <laughs> Commander, you've got a new message at your private terminal. Okay, there's no going there. Do I have a private terminal in here? Okay, I have a private terminal here. Commander, Some discussion. come to check on your new recruit. Just wanted to see how you were doing. Still trying to get my bearings. When I was working on the Normandy's upgrades, I left at the end of the day. I didn't even have a toothbrush or a change of clothing until I made some emergency purchases on the Citadel. Next time you need something, just ask. We're all in this together. Oh, it, it, it's no trouble, Commander. I'm sure you have larger concerns. We can put in a requisition order. My toothbrush. Yes, I mean if it's is just for a toothbrush. Pro Mark IV. It uses tiny mass effect fields to break up plaque and massage the gums. It costs six thousand credits. Okay, yeah, you're on your own with that. Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate you giving me the chance to stay. Was there anything else? Uh, that's all the questions. Military anyway. My family didn't have money for university. When the Alliance saw my aptitude scores, they offered me a full scholarship. I served my required years after graduation and decided to stay. I really like the challenges of the lab. Although I'm sure I'll grow to love frontline service as well. I'm surprised you're worrying about a toothbrush. We've got bigger problems right now. Oh, believe me, seeing the Reapers on Earth was terrifying. But I won't help anybody by bursting into tears here in the CIC, will I? Being here on the Normandy Good. helps. If anyone in the galaxy can stop the Reapers, it's you. And if flagging your messages and managing strategic intel helps you in any way, then it's worth it. Mm -hmm. You worked in Alliance R&D? Yes. You'd think quantum entanglement would make communication easy, but imagine incorporating multiple incoming sources and then networking them with extrapolations of time lag data to construct a coherent situation GUI. It's an exciting challenge. Um, for me, anyway. Making GUIs, I reckon, is fun. Where are you from originally? A colony in the Terminus systems, actually. Though I studied on Earth, at Oxford. My parents were from London. They loved Earth, but they wanted the freedom a colony life could offer. If they stayed in London, I imagine they'd be dead right now. A lot of people back on Earth are still alive, and counting on us. Quite true, Commander. The, that's my com complaint, but from day one, the, 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 the dialogue labels when you have to pick the choice, it doesn't always reflect what you're going to say. That dialogue option that I just picked seemed to, that it was going to be harsher than it really was in the end. Carry on, specialist. Let's go to the crew deck. Oh, oh, all the ones that died. Kaden Alenko. Uh, er, not Rex. Jenkins. Sarah Patel kind of rings a bell. Kelly Chambers. Ah, oh, Kelly is dead. Kelly is dead. Yeah. Gabriela Daniels. Yes, I have to remember what was the name of the other guy. Uh, Abhishek Bakti, no, Alexei Dubyansky, I believe. Alexei Dubyansky, yes, I think. Hector Emerson, can't ring the bell as well. Jenny Galostein, maybe as well. Don't remember what the, the chef's name was. Don't remember. So what's here? Is it the same layout? Crew quarters, the RS cabin, main battery, ICO. We'll see. Life support, yes. Okay, that hasn't changed. Oh, a model for, for me. That's good. I 
This hasn't really changed. Ah, this is where Kasumi was. But in this timeline, Kasumi doesn't exist. Every time I start a new Mass Effect game, it feels like a James Bond revival, you know? The actor is slightly different. <laughs> There's been a recast. Uh, there's some elements of the story that are others that aren't in continuity. It's funny. A poker table, okay. Crew's definitely uh, cutting themselves some quarters. Oh, and I can't get into the ladies' restroom. Crew quarters. No one here I can talk to still. Ah, uh, Samara was sitting right here. Damn fine, just a car. That'd be awesome, I reckon, to be in a sari just a car. Huh. What was Miranda's office? It's now Liara's room. Whoa. She's got herself some equipment. And the VI. Shadow Broker. Greetings, Commander Shepard. Glyph. Huh. What are you? I'm Glyph, a VI assistant to Dr. Tassoni. I help her sort and catalog collected data. She's asked me to draw your attention to a terminal connected to her information network. It analyzes information packages. If you find any useful data, I can research upgrades for you. And what should I hmm. be looking for? I'll inform you if you found relevant data. When you do, return to this terminal for your choices. In the meantime, Dr. Tassoni would like to speak with you. Have a pleasant day. Going in ahead. <laughs> you know, I was hoping this new council would be a little more helpful than the last one. The meeting was less than ideal. Ah, oh, shoot. Liara? I interrupted. What is all this stuff? After you left for Earth, I had the chance to track down the information trader who'd kidnapped my friend. It wasn't easy, but I found the Shadow Broker and took over his information network. You're running yeah, that from the Normandy? What I can. Not all of the old Broker's networks remained intact, but I have agents. So you awesome. took over as the galaxy's most famous information trader? Notorious might be a better term. At least it means I can help research this Prothean device. I killed the big monster. It's far too dangerous to use until we understand it. Alien. <laughs> Did the Protheans actually complete this weapon? You mean, will it work? They wouldn't have poured their last resources into this device if they thought otherwise. But we really need to find out just what kind of weapon they left us. Hmm. Yeah, cuz... Hmm. It'd be nice to know we're not kids playing around with a loaded gun. Absolutely. The damage it could cause if it backfired is unthinkable. People were finally starting to listen before the Reapers came. If we'd had a little more time, maybe Earth wouldn't. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to talk about it. Because if this was their last resource, the last resort, the last... No, if they were going to use this weapon as a last resort, it could be just a... Life ending, nuking everything, including the Reapers, but you know, killing everything, sacrificing themselves as well, just to get rid of the Reapers for not for them, but for future species, future generations, future the future of the universe, you know. So I I, I don't know if if we were presented with such a choice, I don't know if we would be willing to use the weapon or not, you know, killing ourselves in, and the Reaper in the same place. So we are sure that the, the universe and existence is rid of their presence and uh, future species in billions of years, if you will, 
people have a chance to really develop and you know the real deal there's still a lot of people alive down there I have to remember that you will it's the war we warned everyone about for years and if I know you Shepard you'll make them proud You know, it was definitely Are these turning to me? I oh, know Kish is just working on them. Um I'm really hesitant to have a romance with Liara. Cause I mean Liara's grown to be badass. Really, really badass. contains non-essential correspondence from your allied forces. Dr. Tassoni has granted you access. Okay. Please enjoy your day. Oh, great. Is there a Garris around? I don't think so. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, Liara, Miranda, mm, I'm gonna have to think about that. It's not easy. Come on, see you, Doc. Everything okay down here, Doctor? The Alliance team cleaned up and restocked, but it's still my old med bay. Feels like home. <laughs> Welcome back. Thank you. Let's waste no time. If I may, I'd like to examine you. Nothing wrong with me, is there? No, but we should keep an eye on all those cybernetic implants Cerberus grafted into you. Expensive stuff, bringing yeah. them back. And worth every penny. Let's just make sure everything is okay. Guess a checkup never hurts. Just no scalpel this time, Doc. Alas, to my great disappointment, it is nothing invasive. <laughs> I'm just going to run some diagnostics on your implants, and it'll take a few readings. Your system is still detecting the implants as foreign bodies. There's no health risk, but your scars are having trouble healing. Hmm. I recommend reducing stress levels. Be compassionate. I'm giving everything I got, Doc. <laughs> I'm just saying, a little more optimism and a little less realism could help, Commander. Anyway, it's just a cosmetic issue. Nothing to worry about. That's it. You're the picture of health. Yeah, just the thing that was uh, same in Mass Effect 2 about the scars and... Did it disappear? I feel like they disappeared eventually. Because I don't recall having shiny things in the face by the end. How's our inventory of meds? Maybe I just the med bay was fully stocked before them. you left Earth. We should be good for a long time, even given the amount of fire you take each day. Do you ever regret working for Cerberus? We didn't work for them. We used them. If I were to feel anything, it would be guilt. We took their money, took their best people, took mm -hmm. their best ship. We used them to defeat the Collectors, and now we are using their resources against them. <laughs> so no, I don't regret it one bit. Whoa, there's a, a bit of a fight in her. <laughs> You've never mentioned any of your family. None to speak of, really. I'm the last of a prestigious line of medical professionals. The Alliance is my spouse, and you are all my children. I'm blessed with many close friends. How old but with are you? each Alliance vessel taken, I lose one or two. We need to end this war. Aren't we like just... If you're older than I, you're not like ten. You're barely ten years older than I. You're all my children, she said. Come on. I'll see you around, Doctor. Take care, Shepard. Oh. Resign powers. Oh yeah. That thing. Better keep an eye on it. Sign power bonuses. 
good to know it's here. Kudak, Kudak, yes, no chef to talk with. Good, because I didn't care much for the chef. Um, crew deck, we did that, we did. Uh, let's go engineering. Ah, Molotov and Cruiser. No, Jack. Model Sovereign. Oh, yes, I take it. Okay. Ah, uh, new face. Commander, welcome back to the Normandy. Or maybe you should be saying that to me. Engineer Adams, what are you doing here? Oh, I was put in charge mother. of the drive core retrofits. My experience on the Normandy SR-1 okay. made me an obvious choice. So, what do you think of our SR-2? She's incredible. If there's one nice thing I can say about Cerberus, it's that they know how to build a ship. And about that, Cerberus, I mean. I owe you an apology. How so? Back when you got this ship, Dr. Chalk was contacting me. Asked me to help with your mission against the Collectors. I refused. I didn't have your back, and I'm sorry for that. I'll bite. Why didn't you join us? I saw what happened to you when the Normandy went down. I didn't trust that it was really you, and I certainly didn't trust Cerberus. Also, as an officer of the Alliance, I don't just leave my post, you know? Apparently someone forgot to load the Avatar. You owe me nah. Your alliance first. That's the way it should be. Thank you, Commander. Glad to be aboard. Is your family okay? My parents are serving on Viridian Zenith, an Alliance agricultural vessel. My sister is a navigator on the SSV Benjamin Davis. Happy to report that both vessels are safely under Hackett's command. Does the new Normandy stack up to the old SR-1? <laughs> stack up? It blows the old ship away. <laughs> The Tantalus drive core has been completely overhauled. The SR2 might be nearly twice the size, but the new drive core is three times bigger. This ship can fly. Oh, it's twice that the said, size. Cerberus isn't too high on safety. If pushed past her limits, this core would vent into engineering. Guess it gives my team incentive to keep her well balanced during a firefight. Oh, uh, that gonna come vaporized. later. Pretty much. I noticed you upgraded the kinetic barriers with cyclonic technology. Should help reduce the draw when under missile fire. Hopefully that means fewer vaporized engineers. <laughs> the IES stealth system is significantly improved. It can handle a higher blue shift of our emissions. And that means? We should be able to drop out of FTL without triggering every sensor in range. Very handy for stealth reconnaissance. All in all, the Normandy is a marvel of engineering. What do you think of Edie? We had a good talk during the retrofit. A little strange at first, talking shop with an AI. AI? I thought Edie posed as a VI to keep the likes of you from unplugging. She's not, she's not yeah, fooling, but I uh, saw through her. Have you yeah. seen her hardware? Processing power is off the charts. And then there were the problems that kept fixing themselves. If I hadn't had her pegged, I would have sworn I was losing it. You never yeah. expressed any skepticism, Lieutenant Adams. I figured I'd better play it safe with the Cerberus AI, Edie. No offense. None taken. As long as you keep your fingers out of my cognizance processors. <laughs> In the beginning, I tried disconnecting her from key processes without giving myself away. Easier said than done. But Joker seemed to trust her, and at time I saw her advantages. Even grew to like her. Yeah, it's uh, his new wife. Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, sir. Oh. oh, I was about to say, who are you? Yeah, okay. They installed you here. Oh, that's a that, that's a nice uh, spot, I guess. 
How's your new assignment working out, Allers? Fairly normal, except for the unshackled AI, Matriarch Benezia's daughter, and the communicator that can reach Earth. The first two, I can deal with. That last one gets my attention. Hmm, so what are you asking for, exactly? Anything from Earth is the lead story right now. That's not opinion, it's fact. Maybe I can pass on a few non-classified progress updates. Seriously? You just doubled my ratings. I don't need FaceTime, just a data upload. Focus on Cerberus. No, get a support. Tell people what's really happening on Earth. We yeah. need long recruiting lines on every planet after. Another option is intriguing. This, Commander. Remind me to tell you about the time I made an Elcor cry. <laughs> Could have been like to tell people that Cerberus uh, really aren't that good and that they shouldn't help them. No, help me instead. Just Lieutenant Steve Cortez, shuttle pilot. Uh -huh. Got news about our supply chains, Commander. Nice to meet you, Lieutenant. What's going on? Sorry to just jump in, Commander. There's so much to be done. I get caught up in the tasks at hand. He's always like that. You need to chill out, Esteban. So you do care, Mr. Vega? Or is that the Cerveza talking again? So what's happening with our supply chains, Lieutenant? Alliance procurement chains are in chaos, but the Citadel's economy is still running. I can network to Citadel retailers. There's one of these new inventory evil dogs. Right from this console. <laughs> when I network to a new store, I'll let you know. It does cost more to coordinate delivery to the Normandy, so it's cheaper to buy supplies when you're there. So you're my shuttle pilot, but you're setting up procurement chains? I wasn't assigned as Normandy's pilot. Not much need for one on a dry dot ship. I was overseeing the retrofit of the cargo hold. I'm quite familiar with the operation and maintenance of the UT-47 Kodiak and the M-44 Hammerhead. Okay. In my experience, it made sense for me to take over as shuttle pilot when we left Earth. Especially given Mr. Vega's love of mid-air collisions. <laughs> to save the day, pendejo! I'm also <laughs> responsible for logistics, making sure the armory and shuttle are properly stocked and maintained. Uh, the hammer I see, the other one not so much what it is. How long have you been with the Alliance? About 10 years. I enlisted in First Fleet serving on the SSV Hawking, flying F-61 Tridents mostly. I love the Trident, it practically dances in low atmo. I spent as much time tinkering on my bird as flying her. Got a bit of a reputation. So, you can fly fighters and fix them? Yeah, and I got a knack for procurement too. They were grooming me for CAG, but my skill set made me more valuable commanding a flight deck. They assigned me to the Normandy retrofit team about five months ago to oversee all cargo bay modifications. What happened to the M44 Hammerhead? <laughs> it was sent to the tech labs for a retrofit. To afford mobility with such a small ESO core, its design sacrificed armor plating. The lab engineers are trying to improve that. After the Reaper invasion, those labs are probably just a pile of rubble. The Kodiak seems a bit different. Good eyes, Commander. This is the UT-47A Kodiak. It's got an upgraded ESO core and prototype stealth technology based on the Normandy design. For quick drops, I can get you in and out virtually undetected. She flies like a brick, so that's why you need a good So I don't pilot. understand. I don't have the armor head then? He said he, he was piloting the armor head. You were stationed on Earth. Do you have family there? I'm an only child. Lost my parents years ago. I had a husband back when I was stationed at Ferris Fields. The Collectors took out the whole colony. I'd rather not talk about it. Do you maintain this armory? Paris. I share that duty with our illustrious Mr. Vega. Though I believe the only weapon he really cares to maintain is himself. You know you love the show, Esteban. <laughs> <laughs> the first retrofit we did was to move the armory down from Deck 2. I'm not sure what Cerberus engineers were thinking. Now you get off the elevator, pick your gear, and head right into the shuttle. Just like the original Normandy. Welcome back to the Alliance, Commander. Keep up the hard work, but don't kill yourself. Yes, Commander. Yeah, it makes way more sense to have the armory here. I'll give you one chance. Don't screw the boot. Hey there, good dog. Okay, so... The shuttle.
another shuttle that we cannot use. Betcha we're gonna drop that later. James! LeBron James! <laughs> hey, Shepard! <laughs> Sorry. How'd it go with the castle? How'd you think? Same as usual. Non-committal. Unhelpful. Bet they still wanted you to help them out, no? <clears throat> yeah. We're gonna rescue a Turian Primarch from Palavan. <sighs> Sounds like fun. Never been to the Turian homeworld. <sighs> you down here for a reason? <sighs> Just came down to talk. <clears throat> Great. Not sure what there is to talk about. Not sure you're a big talker either. You already know my service record. <laughs> I don't, actually. I didn't have access to personnel records when we met. Right. Forgot about that. Well... Think you can dance and talk at the same time? I think I can handle it. Okay, loco. Let's dance. He's a funny dude. Don't push your luck, Vega. With age comes wisdom. And rank. Ha! You sound like my old CO. Oh, yeah? And who was that? Captain Tony. He was a hard-ass son of a bitch, but a good leader. Nice. Keep it up! <clears throat> What do you mean, was? Died. With most of my squad. Protecting a civilian colony from a collector attack. Hmm. And the colony? It was either them, or the intel we had on the collectors. Intel we could have used to destroy them. I chose the intel. Sorry. That's a tough call. The best part was, we didn't really need the intel in the end. Because you were out saving the galaxy by taking down the entire Collector homeworld. You didn't know. No. You can't blame yourself, Vega. Who says I'm blaming myself? I do. You a shrink too? Nope. But that stunt back on Mars was reckless. You're lucky to be alive. So? So? Maybe you don't care if you live or die. Or maybe. <clears throat> I'm just willing to do whatever the fuck it takes to end this goddamn rule. <clears throat> maybe you are. But if you're half as good as I think you are, we need you alive. Oh, my heart was beating fast. Pep talk. Anytime. Hey. Thanks for the dance, loco. I'll take it. Loco, huh? I can think of worse things to call you. As long as you remember who's in charge, you can call me whatever you want. Oh, I won't forget. I'll take it. I'll bite. Open upgrades. Sure, you can vindicate a katana. Okay. I won't upgrade anything until I check which weapons I'm going to be using. Procurement interface. Medjel upgrades. Yes, please. Okay. Casa. Yes, please. I'm a kid. <laughs> I'll buy a ship mother before buying weapons. Uh, I'm a Lego guy. Oh, I can have the Spectre requisitions from here. Good. I'm a set. I like that. 
So this with the helmet and the breather. Yeah. Chest. Oh, wait. Health boost. Shield boost. Shield regen. Ammo capacity. Power damage. That the Cerberus one. That doesn't do anything. Meta damage. Okay, I reckon if you want a performing armor or a or a customized armor. Health boost, shield boost, shield regen. Power damage, weapon damage, armor capacity, should regen. I'm gonna take the Cerberus uh, one. Test it. Maybe I'm gonna prefer the health boost, but... Usually if my shields don't come down too easily, I won't need a fighter. I won't need uh, better health. Captain's cabin. Let's see my models. Destiny Ascension, Assault 2, Sovereign Freighter, Private Terminal, the bed is still the same. This room is pretty much still the same. I can go to the toilets? Oh, yes, I can. Cool. Squad selection. Okay. Uh, appearance. I think she's really fine in this outfit. I like this one though. I like this one here. Yeah, I like this one. Tactical outfits. All right, so let's continue. We're one hour 23 minutes in. Uh, let's see what we can do next now that we've seen the whole team. There were no messages, right? In a private terminal. Oh yes, there was. Sorry. Priority mission, Eden Prime, service attack into Prime, and he is now occupying the colony. Alliance forces are stretched too thin right now to attempt to liberate the colony, but we've been doing what we can to covertly aid the local resistance. In the process, we learned the Cerberus has uncovered a major protein artifact. We don't know what it is, but it appears to be the reason for the attack on the colony. We need you to infiltrate the colony and recover the artifact. Is it the artifact that we left at the end? Uh in Mass Effect 1? Didn't I say in Mass Effect 1? Why are we leaving the artifact there? Just take it. Welcome back, gift. While we were in dry dark, Joker suggested that a small welcome gift would be appropriate to have on hand. Should it be reinstated as commanding officer as the ship does not have the capacity to accommodate the dancers he suggested. I chose something from the official systems alliance catalog. Soldiers who have held an N7 designation for five years are or more are entitled to a commemorative hooded jacket for wear on off duty hours. You will find it among the selection of casual clothing in your cabin. Appreciate it. Iron's network uh, contributor. See the Delaware out acquire and flee the latest. Oh, yeah. K9, dear commentator, I was a contractor working on Domanji's haptics interface when 
it was in dry dock, your VIED emailed me to let me know I left my Mac dock on board. I'm on the way in Terra Nova now and would hate for you to go on million clicks out of your way to drop off my dog. Please just take care of her. She likes exploring, sniffing chemical trails and 750 volts outlets. Thank you and sorry for the trouble. I promise she won't be too much of a headache. Andrea Brown. Well, I suppose when we get on Terra Nova, flash, 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 the old alliance will pass Okay, read statement. Uh, formally acknowledges or in statement to the Alliance Navy about Admiral David Anderson's recent verbal communication. Statement to see power rates. You are hereby authorized to assume command of the Normandy SR2. You are directed to begin interdiction operations against any and all enemies posing a threat to Earth, its colonies, and its allies. Furthermore, you are granted diplomatic authority to establish treaties with non human races required to support your mission. Okay. Stephen Hackett. We need your specific violence. Yeah, I need you to head to a Cerberus lab on the planet Sanctum. I'll brief you when you're inbound. Okay, maybe maybe let's go do this priority mission. It's priority mission. I don't know if I don't know what story missions are. Well, not. Let's do this priority mission in Prime, and then I make on the special ops. This is the story, I think. I reckon anything now that has to do with Hackett is priority, is a main story. So, Sanctum. Clusters are already conquered by the Reapers, can be accessed using the Normandy Stealth Drive. Search these clusters for survivors, salvage, and valuable intel. Okay, good. Citadel. Okay. Terran Primark. Prophecy and artifact. You know what? Since we haven't really progressed story wise in this episode, let's go just rescue the Turian Primarch and we are going to do side quests later. If I don't like it, the Sanctum priority mission. The Nomad is equipped with a new and improved scanning pulse that can detect objects and just use this to uncover what assets. Artifacts, intel, and fuel as you fly around the system. Be aware, however, that each time the pulse is used, the chance that Reapers will enter the system to investigate is increased. Okay, if a Reaper enters the system, you are in flee and wait until you have completed the mission before returning. Ah. Okay, interesting. Palavan. Interesting new mechanic. I reckon I'm gonna get screwed at some point. Hmm. Who am I gonna pick? Difficult. Tough choice. So, It's a lot of accuracy. Aha! Okay, so... More dexterity, more charisma. I definitely need the charisma because I want these options unlocked. Oh, interesting. 
on and off the battlefield. Okay, so upgrade cars. Oh. This. 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 And there's two paths. Damage and force, influence and duration. Reputation bonus. Force bonus. Power damage. Okay, so basically I think this is supposed to be if you are aiming for the combat side of it and this is supposed to be if you're aiming for the um, roleplay story side of it. I'm gonna go for the story side of it. I'm gonna go for the story side of it because this is definitely what I'm interested in here. Increases the force and damage of squad mate powers. Increases damage bonus. Increases weight capacity. The force and damage of squad mates by 30%. Still, it don't necessarily do much all the time. Increase damage bonus and force bonus. Should do that. Weight capacity for 20 points. Oh, I need more things, anyways. I'm not gonna use the point I have left. We're going to do this. And we don't have enough. We don't have enough. Okay. I like this new... Apart from the weapon, the sightings thing, the, the layout, I don't think it's good. The rest, the mechanics of it all, I thing are great. Getting okay. decimated. Strongest military in the galaxy, and the Reapers are obliterating it. Was it like this on Earth? Yes. Huh. Shepard. With a love. I'm so sorry. Uh, a less yeah. good military. Commander, the LZ's getting swarmed. James, open that hatch. Okay, clear the landing zone. Let me just... Okay, he's got fortification, reinforces. Slow down power use, reinforce. He's in protective for cooker and... Okay. Useless. Oh, I don't have a, a lot of accuracy with this. I don't like it. Right. Get in, get out. Let's move. Roger that. Roger that. I don't like this weapon, the Vindicator. It's moving a lot. Yeah, I don't like the Vindicator. Who invented that weapon? Soldier, which way to your commanding officer? Straight ahead and around the corner, 
Hello, I'm here for your commander, but I'm gonna loot your place first. Try them again. And I command West Airfield. Ah, I'm not gonna walk on the dead. They're probably not gonna, gonna welcome me. The reinforcements haven't arrived. Ground report knowledge of the train is the only uh, advantage here, and that's not going to last forever if they keep throwing their forces at us. We'll hold this area as long as we can. I'm linking my transponder to the live signal monitoring system of the unit suit. If it goes out, send another unit here ASAP. Try them again. Tabestic, get your men up on that north barricade. Yes, sir. Sergeant Bardas. Find a way to get that comm tower operational. Sir. General. Commander Shepard. Heard you were coming, but I didn't believe it. General Corinthus. I've come to get Primarch Fedorian. Oh. Primarch Fedorian is dead. Oh. His shuttle was shot down an hour ago as it tried to leave the moon. And it was it That's in? gonna complicate things. How bad is it, General? We just lost about 400 men in half an hour. We set up camps on this moon as an advanced position to flank the enemy. A sound strategy. Just... Irrelevant. Exactly. The sheer force of the Reapers seems to make them immune to that sort of tactic. The Primarch and his men found that out the hard way. I'm sorry. I hear he was a good man. And a friend. He would have been an outstanding diplomat. So what happens now? That sucks. The Turian hierarchy provides very clear lines of succession. Is right. it you? General Corinthus? With such heavy casualties, it's hard for me to be certain who the next mm. Primarch is. Palavan Command will know. However, at the moment, contacting them is impossible. The comm tower is out. Husk. This is always Swarming something. It's never that easy. We can't get close enough to repair it. Don't worry, General. I'll get your tower operational. Thank you, Commander. I'll take care of things on this end. All right, let's go. Can't I never be I the be the guy that to the left of the take going to take care of the tower. base? <laughs> let's go. <laughs> While you go into the fire. Uh, they sent us winter gear, not sure what they thought we'd do with that kind of gear here, but I suppose we should thank the spirits nonetheless. The power source can be cannibalized and converted to power our combat gears, filtering units instead of these. It'll be nice not to have those clogging up anymore. Commander XNAR. XNAR gear. How many fighters are in the repair? 29, sir. Can I go up? Nope. Discussion. Up and on your left. The main barricade. Got it. Up. Yeah, up and on your left, but can I go up? Up and on your left. This is the main barricade. Yeah, but on and on my left. Okay. Up and on my left. Okay. Sounds mod. Okay, uh, so the shotgun. Okay, this is better labeled. This is better labeled. It is the thing that I don't like. No, that's the katana, the scimitar. Oh, this is better. The vindicator. Ooh, whoever inv inv invented the vindicator. It's supposed to have better accuracy. These things supposed to have better accuracy? This thing that fires like like that is supposed to have better accuracy. Husks at the tower overwhelmed us. 
Good luck. Yeah, I don't know who said that it was better. They're an idiot. Deadly at short range. Six rounds. Reliable, yes. Oh, that's you. Sorry. I don't know what that melee thing uses, but... I'm going to use it a lot. I'm all full. Okay, nothing anymore. Oh, what is this? Okay, communication is up. We can't repair it from this panel. Of course. Uh, yeah, I need a tech. Liara, see if you can repair it. I'll go up and have a look. If you can keep husks from climbing up behind me, I'd appreciate it. What are we going to have our biotic come. abilities? Ready, hey. Hell yeah! Let's take them! I'm on it! Oh shoot, shoot, I'm oh, I'm stuck, I'm stuck between the rocks and them. That sucks. I'm gonna do that mistake, we're gonna sell we uh, it from this panel. Big boy. James, you're up for tower repair. On it, might take me a while, but I'll do my best. Yeah, it's gonna take longer. Liara's abilities come. are better welcome. You bet. Let's take these monsters. Got it. And you guys aren't helping me? when you've got something. I'll help your men till I hear from you. Understood. Shepard out. I'm on it. What does he do? I don't understand what his ability does. Reinforces armor using protective occurrence. Purge the current sends its charge to your gauntlet for increased melee damage. Okay. It reinforces shield. Reinforce armor. Purge the current. But when? I don't understand how it works. Go ahead. I have information from Pal 
Alephant Command. Please return ASAP. On our way. You can't tell me, like, I may be fear being spied on. Oops. What have you got? As your partner said, succession is usually simple. But right now, the hierarchy's in chaos. So many dead are MIA. I need someone. I don't care who. As long as they can get us the Turian resources we need. I'm on it, Shepard. We'll find you the Primarch. Ha! I know that voice! Yes! yes. Vicarian, <laughs> sir. I didn't see you arrive. At ease, General. Good to see you again. So, what are I you? I thought you'd be on Palavin. If we lose this moon, we lose Palavin. I'm the closest damn thing we have to an expert on Reaper forces, so I'm advising. James, this is Garrus Vicarian. He helped me stop the Collectors. He's a hell of a soldier. Lieutenant, good to see you too, Liara. Good to see you in one piece, Garrus. General Corinthus filled me in. We know who we're after. Palavan Command tells me that the next Primarch is General Adrian Victus. Agent Victus. Victus. His name's crossed my desk. No one cares. Ooh, in good or bad. I was fighting alongside him this morning. Lifelong military. Gets results. Popular with his troops. Not so popular with military command. Mm. Has a reputation for playing loose with accepted strategy. What do you mean? On Tatris during the uprisings. His squad discovered a Salarian spy ring about the same time the Turian Separatists did. Okay. Rather than neutralize the ring, he fell back. He even gave up valuable fortifications which the rebels took. Then the rebels uh. attacked the Salarians, and when both groups had worn each other down, Victus moved back in. Didn't lose a man. Bold strategy, but wild behavior doesn't get you advanced up the meritocracy. Primarch Victus. That should be something to see. You think he can get the job done? We both know conventional strategy won't beat the Reapers. Right now, he could be our best shot. And I trust him. Okay, let's get him on the shuttle and get out of here. Okay, I didn't get all of that rebel Shepherd, story, but what I get is that he gets the things the done in an unconventional way. In an un We've got a situation on the north. <laughs> difficult thing like to speak. Possessed, shutting down systems, powering up weapons. I can't find the source. Okay. I need the Normandy standing by. We may have to bug out. Should I go back and take a look? Do That's it. That's worrisome. Garrus, you said you were with Victus this morning? Yeah, but we got separated. He went to bolster a flank that was breaking. Could be anywhere out there. We're trying to raise him, Commander. Incoming Harvester! Headed for the airfield! Oh, whoa. They have these things. Oh, it's huge! General, tell Primarch Victus we'll rendezvous here. In the meantime, let's go take care of whatever that thing dropped off. Coming, Garrus? Are you kidding? I'm right behind you. It's already ahead, even. Oh, new weapons. Let's see what this is. Sniper rifle. Yes, please, babe. Uh, definitely getting rid of that. No, the schematizer. All right, getting rid of this Vindicator. Don't know who invented that, but should be prosecuted. Should use a med pack. Okay, so let me see the weapons. So the scooter. Yeah, that's the shotgun. Okay, this one we might want to use. That is way better. This is my show friend. And the sniper. Actually, this 
Subgun hey, machine. Hey, you breathing so hard? Atmosphere's a little thinner than I'm used to, is all. Adrenaline's better than oxygen any day. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I was going to hide. Wow. I got taken down fast. What's Garrison's? Yeah, the sniper rifle. Garris. That thing gone. What is this? I forgot to press. Ah, I forgot to press. I thought the pressing just one was a alright, but no, I need to. Uh, yeah, let's keep you both on these weapons. I don't have... Let me move, let me move. Roger that. You got it. Serious. Oh, you can't be serious.
Why did I use that earlier? Yeah, why didn't I, I think why didn't I here. use that earlier? I hope we are. I'm here, you know. Oh yes, please. Oh, he's dead. The dude is dead. Oh yes, please. To L to exit. To exit turret. Uh, oh, activate turret. Okay. This is fun! Okay. Yeah, I know I'm shooting you. Oh well, you know. No. Hell, what is that thing? It's not something I like. Oh, shoot. Great. Oh, oh, let me run! Commander, we can't let the barricade fall! Oh, I'm... What... What happened? Primark killed. How?
forgot. What's what's the button? What's the button? I'm gonna die. Okay, it's this one. Oh. Yeah, I don't have any more. Ah. Ah. I'm moving! I'm moving! How come it's not working? Okay, good. Shepard, turret listener. Ho! Oh. What's the word on the Primarch? Still can't get a stable comm link. Okay, I'm going on foot. Shepard out. Garrus, take me to the last place you saw Victus. Okay, that was something. I don't have any more anything. Okay, you are here. Garrus is here. How far? Should be pretty quick, unless we find trouble. Took out a frigate. Man, how many people? Oh my god. Would you look at that? Are they all the same Crap. size as uh Those spiders Southern? aren't even making a dent. Was somewhere in this size or was it bigger? Shepard, over here. From a distance it's difficult to tell. Look at Palavin. That blaze of orange. The big one. That's where I was born. That's rough. What? Still have family there? My dad. A sister. How bad is it? Three million lost the first day. Five the second. How's your military holding up? Look around. That should give you some idea. You're putting up a good fight. For now. But how long does it take before the fight's kicked out of you? If they'd only listened to your warnings about the Reapers, we might have been ready. Maybe. Hard to figure how you prepare for something like this. And you listen <laughs> to what the proteins here. left behind. Oh, shoot. That thing is OP. Shit, I hate those things. And New York is crawling with the creepy bastards? Uh, I never should have left Earth. It's gonna be bad all over. Leaving the fight just pisses me off. But you're here asking Victus to do the same thing. Leave the fight to make nice in some poor room. This summit is the only chance we've got. None of us is beating the Reapers alone. Shoo! What is that okay? beast? Yes, sir. We'll make it. Have I'm gonna take your resources. Things? Half hour ago. Okay, so. okay, good luck. Yes, sir. I can this is the south. General Victus. Whoa, look out. Whoa! Shoot, he's dead. That was a little closer than I'd like. I'll say. Can't go. So, Loco, you really think this summit will work? I mean, Asari? Salarians? Where's the Krogan and Batarians? Where's the meat? It's not that easy. The Batarians took the first hit when the Reapers arrived. Not much left of them. And the Krogan have never forgiven us for the Genophage. Right. 
Turian sterilized them. Tolarians came up with it. Yeah, the the boat for it. So they won't be joining us. Too bad. I fought with the Krogan. They're tough sons of bitches. Bit too much, apparently, then. That sounds bad! Okay, double time. No Reapers taking this Primarch from me. Right behind you! Oh! Ah. Didn't have time to hide. At least I'm starting with some resources. Not, yep. Yeah, not really. <laughs> How long's the cool down? Roger that. You got it. Move into the compound. Moving. Right behind you. Oh no. Affirmative. Will do. Oh. Oh. Yes. Okay. Okay, I didn't realize I <laughs> I used that thing. Oh, damn. Ah, uh, another one. Give it everything you've got. Oh. Is it starting me? Okay. Yeah, I didn't exactly get... Oh, shoot! Ah, oh, give me, give me, let's, let me g grab that. Oh. I told you that that jumping thing was going to be a pain in the ass. Oh, sorry, Garrus. Yeah. 
Oh, oh, I'm stuck. Oh, I'm gonna die. Yeah. Ah, uh, I used this big weapon and now I don't know. I don't have anything for these things. Should I uh, just avoid them and... I'm not even close to it! How am I supposed to do that? What's happened to this? It sounds like louder. I feel like. Give it everything you've got. Okay, I would have wanted to see something else, but no, they're just too too strong. I'm on it. What's what's happened? I'm stuck under the beast. I'm on it. Yeah. How am I supposed to kill these things while being shot at and kill two of them?
I don't understand. Maybe there's just other ammo that I'm supposed to find for this. Yeah, there's nothing to be done with this weapon. It should have been used uh, uh, later. Is that it? Like on the two together, but it's stupid because Okay, run away from the beast, kill the support. But the thing is, the, the beast come close to you way too fast for you to be able to do anything. Jacob isn't using this, is he? Give it everything you've got! I'm on it! Affirmative! Roger that! 
Roger that. Affirmative. Oh, see? It just... I can't get to... Garrus. They are just everywhere. They are on every flank. I'm sorry, I'm not gonna lower the difficulty. There's gotta be a way to do this. And in, in no way, I refuse to believe that this mighty weapon that I use Roger that. without realizing it On is the only way to win this. Because otherwise it would just restart you from the start. They wouldn't restart me there, you know? I don't think so. Stuck. I glitched the matrix. You're shooting on me. You're shooting on me. Guys. But the tide's turning. Turn up the heat.
I don't know where the big beasts are gone, but they are gone. They're not gone. They're here. They're stuck. I'm taking it. I'm not asking for a reset. General Victus, yes, please. Yes, I'm not asking for a replay of this part. That was disgusting. I General did not Vincus. enjoy it. Yes? I'm Commander Shepard of the Normandy. A commander. I know commander Shepard Bas Normandy. I can't wait to find out what brings you out here. Vicarian, where did you go? Heavy Reaper unit on the right flank. I believe your exact words were, get that thing the hell off my men. Appreciate it. <laughs> General, you're needed off planet. I've come to get you. It will take something beyond important for me to leave my men or my Turian brothers and sisters in their fight. Saving everyone, Fedorian saving them? Killed. You're the new Primarch. You're needed immediately to chair a summit and represent your people in the fight against the Reapers. Ooh. The planet. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah that's I'm what Gary said. The planet. I forgot I was on the negotiating for the Turian hierarchy. Yes. I've spent my whole life in the military. I'm no diplomat. I hate diplomats. What makes you think you're not qualified? I'm not really a by-the-book kind of guy, and I piss people off. My family's been military since Just the like a politician. War. <laughs> war is my life. It's in my bones. But that kind of passion is deceptive. Can make you seem reckless when you're anything but. War is your resume. At a time like this, we need leaders who've been through that hell. I like that. You're right. And honestly? Uniting these races may take as much strength as facing the Reapers. See this devastation, Primarch? Double that for Earth. I need an alliance. I need the Turian fleet. I know you can see it. Give me a moment to say goodbye time. to my men. Without him down here, there's a good chance we lose this move. Without him up there, there's a good chance we lose everything. Mm -hmm. Look at that. And they want my opinion on how to stop it? Failed CSEC officer, vigilante, and I'm their expert advisor? Think you can win this thing, Shepard? Yeah, I don't know, Garrus. But I'm sure as hell gonna give Ooh. it my best shot. There was a voice problem here. I'm sure nobody else can Because Shepard, talk to Shepard. whatever it's <laughs> worth, I'm with you. Welcome aboard. Always. Are you ready, Primarch Victus? One thing. Yes. Commander, I appreciate your need for our fleets, but I can't spare them. Not while my world is burning. I but understand. If the pressure could be taken off Palavan. That's a pretty tall order. We need the Krogan. I mean, I understand. You can't see us winning this thing without them. Get them to help us, and then we can help you. I mean, it's and a fair Krogan. deal. Looks like your summit just got a lot more interesting. Because I was like, we're going to ask them to help us. I was That was in the back of my mind. We're going to ask them to help us and take uh, their resources. I apologize resources for being so frank, Commander, but your plan know. feels doomed to failure. We know. We've been there before. But, Madam Counselor, let me... I'm not the only one that feels this way. The Salarian Dalatras is livid. Some of these issues are hundreds of years old. Time to let go. Perhaps. 
Still, we can't help but feel that this summit is a waste of your time, and we can't afford to have it waste ours. We must focus our attention on the arrival of the Reapers. No, oh dear. So no, the Asari will not be at your summit. Our alliance would be stronger with the Krogan. You need them. We all do. Good luck, Commander, and goodbye. Commander, Admiral. And that is the type of person I have to save. I don't want to save these people. Commander, Edie just went offline. Uh, what do you mean offline? I don't know. She's not responding, and I can't access the AI core diagnostics. You better get down to deck three. Oh uh, yeah. Commander, comm systems are going haywire. Whatever's happening is centered on deck three. See if you can get to Edie. I'll check the. AI. Oh, is this the? Oh, that's the freaking thing. Yeah, that's the freaking thing in there. Of course it is. Joker, what's that sound? Fire extinguishers, Commander. Could be an electrical fire or something. Thought I was going to talk to the guy, but uh, no, the door opening took first. I'm going in. Is your leg broken, soldier? Because you seem too limp. Edie, talk to me. She's been disconnected. This is not good. We're gonna have to quarantine AD. Is there a particular topic you wish to discuss, Shepard? Edie? Yes. You're in Dr. Eva's body. Not all of me, but I have control of it. It was not a seamless transition. How did you do that? A transition? You blacked out on us for a while there. Correct. When we brought this unit on board, I began a background process to search for its information on the Prothean device. This eventually triggered a trap. A backup power source and CPU activated, and the unit attempted physical confrontation. Fortunately, I was able to gain root access and repurpose it as I saw fit. During this process, it struggled. Thus, the fire. Edie, you need to alert us about incidents like this. You shouldn't have done this alone. Bringing the crew up to speed would have been counterproductive. All attempts to help would have been limited by reaction time. So if you're in there, are you still in the ship? Just tell us I next time. primarily within the ship. For optimal control, this unit should remain within Normandy's broadcast or tight beam range. Are you planning to take that body somewhere? Normandy's weaponry is not suited to every combat situation. This platform could provide limited fire ground support. You mean you could come with us? Correct. Okay. This body could accompany you to areas the Normandy cannot reach. Before we do that, I need you to guarantee this mech doesn't have any more surprises in it. Run whatever test you can. Then we can talk about using it in combat situations. One moment. I am running trials. Complete. I can send you a full report if you wish. However, my first step should be restoring functionality to the Normandy to reassure the crew that all is normal. Just don't be surprised if the crew is a little wary of your new body. It was shooting at them a little while ago. Yeah. An excellent Me point. Included. <laughs> I will take it to the bridge. Joker will also want to see it. Uh, that we can agree. You know what I said that Edie was Joker's new wife? Well, uh, and I don't know if I can trust that thing because if Edie could gain access to it, it could gain access to Edie. That's what I'm worried about. Obviously. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so that was the uh, action you'll get for today's episode. I'm going to be seeing you in the next. I don't know what we're going to do next time. We are going to do the side missions. I found something suspicious. Have you got a minute? Well, this is going to be discussed in the next episode that I'm going to be playing right now. I'm going to be seeing you then. Until then, please take care. Have a nice life. See you soon.
ไป